What's going on everybody? Tom here and Olivia with Keto Lifestyle and today we're actually going to be doing a keto food haul video and kind of a blog. Basically we uh, went to all sorts of different stores this morning and shopped around for the best deals. As you can tell we got a lot of meat and this is also how I keep keto affordable. So we're just going to go ahead and start here on the left with my big bag of broccoli. Now I get this from Sam's Club. It's uh, I guess a pound of broccoli or sorry four pounds so the four one pound bags in here and they are steam bags which makes them really nice. Next up, I've got my chicken thigh. So this stuff is pretty much the only chicken that I use anymore. I wish I could get the skin on it, but it's really hard to find boneless skin on chicken thigh. I can find bone in and skin on, but I really don't want to debone it if I'm doing something else with it. So I just go ahead and get the uh, chicken thigh. It's boneless, skinless, and this comes from Sam's Club as well. Next up, and you guys have probably heard me mention this a few times, is skinny pasta. It's like konjac noodles, but they don't smell terrible. Or um, That's my one thing against like minute rice or, or miracle yeah, rice, sorry, yeah. is uh, it just smells atrocious. This stuff does pretty much the same thing. It is actually zero calories, zero carbs, and uh, doesn't smell terrible. Um, next up what we have, there are a ton of Lily's chocolates. Whole Foods was having a sale for $2.70 a bar, so I bought all the bars I could. We got dark chocolate and then milk chocolate that's salted and caramelized, because those are his favorite. Yeah, I think there's, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bars. Because this stuff's normally like three or three or four dollars a bar, so it's on sale for like $2.50, so we loaded up on everything that they had in stock. Back to some of the more food items, since we kind of got over some snacks. Uh, big old bag of cheddar cheese. Yes, I know shredded cheddar cheese has some potato starch in it and that's not exactly great for keto. I am far too lazy to shred cheese myself every time I want to use it. So I buy a big bag like this, I break it in half into two gallon bags, stick one in the freezer and one in the fridge, then, you know, this will last me probably a month, month and a half between the two of us. So it's five pounds and I want to say this whole bag is like $10, so it's much more cost effective than buying little bags like this size of cheddar cheese. Speaking of which, we also have some Parmesan cheese. It goes great on a lot of stuff, and it's nice and high in fat. So I'm a big snacky person, so getting some string cheese was a really big thing for me, and it was also on a really great sale at Smith's. Next up, uh, avocados. She can't have them, but I like them, and uh, I think this was a four-pack they had for about $5. It wasn't too bad. Avocados here in Vegas are a bit expensive, um, normally, but if you find them on sale, I buy a few of them and I try to get them as green as possible. That way they'll last a little bit. Um, cause I'm not the kind of person who will eat an avocado every day. I might have one every other day, every few days. Maybe I'll make some guacamole out of one of them, but I can't just sit down and eat one a day. Uh, as much as it's great for electrolytes, potassium, whatever, I just can't make myself do it. It's usually made into some type of a dip or put on a taco, something like that. So I try to get them pretty green. That way they last a while and I just get them when they're on sale. So speaking of things being on sale, this is something else that I picked up. Uh, came from a store called Sprouts. It's like a franchised farmer's market, I guess is how they advertise it. But this is a, a pound of grass-fed Wagyu beef, uh, which is, you know, kind of the prime cut of beef next to Kobe. And this stuff was $5.50 a pound. So I picked up a pound of it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I don't want to make it into burgers or anything like that because I don't want to waste really good beef. But uh, got a pound of that just to experiment with and enjoy. And that same store, the main reason we went there today was all this stuff up here. Um, this is actually pork shoulder, Boston butt, whatever. It was 99 cents a pound. And if you guys have been familiar with my videos for a while, you know I make a lot of barbecue and I love making pulled pork. This is what I use to make my pulled pork. So it's normally like two to three dollars a pound. 99 cents a pound was perfect. So they actually had a limit of two per person. Um, so we ended up going through and her and I checked out separately so that we could get four of these things. And I'll show you guys in a minute. I got a deep freeze out in the garage that's just loaded with meat. And that's one of the main things I do to save money is when things are on sale, I buy a ton of it. So these um, right here, these are chuck steaks. These came from a different store. These came from our local kind of Kroger franchise store. Um, this is beef chuck steak. I use these from anything from stews to, you know, beef and broccoli or whatever. Buy one, get one free. You can't go wrong. So we went ahead and got four of these guys. Um, moving on a little bit. Staple for me is macadamia nuts. She obviously can't have them too often. They mess with her stomach due to food allergies. But uh, I try to buy them from the bulk nuts. I don't try to buy the little cans of them or the you know the bags of flavored ones. I just buy them in bulk because macadamia nuts are not very cheap, and it's the cheapest way I can find them. And it's still usually ten to eleven dollars a pound, which 
to me. I mean, it's worth it because I'll take about an ounce or two for lunch every day and the macros are fantastic. But buying those in bulk is going to save you a ton of money. Next up in my sweet tooth pantry, we have Enlightened. Um, this is on sale at Sprouts, which is that farmer's market Tom was talking about. I found the white chocolate peppermint mocha. I'm really excited to try it. And side note on Enlightened, like they're really good ice creams. Um, they taste great. You got to let them sit out for a minute, just like any low calorie ice cream would be. Uh, they're not something I'd recommend every day. They're great for, you know, a snack every now and again, you want to treat yourself. But if you eat this every day, there is some sugar in it. So just be cautious of it. It's not something that you should avoid like the plague, but all those, you know, Halo Top, Enlightened, what are the other ones? Arctic Zero. Arctic Zero. Um, those are the ones that we get out here. I want to try Rebel Creamery soon. I just haven't done that yet or Killer Way. But all those ice creams, a lot of them still have sugars in them. So you want to kind of limit your portions and definitely don't do it daily. Enjoy it every once in a while, but you don't need it all the time. Moving on to kind of our snack department here. Oh yeah, just side <laughs> note, I picked up a tomato. This is because I'm going to make some guacamole out of that avocado next time I make some type of a taco dish. Um, Anyway, moving on to the snack department. She already hit the chocolates, but we found these uh, epic pork rinds. Uh, we got, I guess, two of the flavors here. This one's barbecue. That one is the chili lime, which is probably what I'm going to dip in that guacamole, to be honest with you. Um, these came from Whole Foods. They were on sale this week. Totally on sale, yeah. Actually, Whole Foods out here is cool since Amazon bought them out. If you use Amazon Prime, um, they'll actually send a, a shopper to the store for you. Pick out all your groceries and deliver it to your house for free. If you spend over, was it $50 it's free? Yeah, it was over $50. If you spend over 50 bucks, it's free. free. And at Whole Foods, AKA Whole Paycheck, 50 bucks is really easy to spend. So instead of going down there and fighting their crowds, because the one near my house is actually on Las Vegas Boulevard, so it's right off the strip, it gets slammed. I'd rather just have them do it and bring it for me. You kind of lose the ability to uh, pick out the items yourself, like, you know, for fresh produce or whatever, but you can send little notes to the shopper and they'll take care of it. That's where these avocados came from actually, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, these, these were Whole Foods as well. And we just had them get the green ones. They were on a really good sale too. Um, and then these were our shopping <laughs> snacks. Uh, these are these Quest protein chips. Now they are a little bit lower in fat than I'd like and they're kind of high in protein, but in terms of in a pinch, you want a snack. These are actually pretty decent. I've also tried the cheddar one. Um, as far as I go, I'm a big barbecue fan. Those are delicious to me. And then the, the cheddar ones, the cheddar quest chips are really good as well. I wasn't a big fan of the cool ranch ones. Um, pretty sure you liked, I like the barbecue ones the best and I'm not a huge barbecue. Yeah. Fan. That's the funny thing. She hates barbecue potato chips or, you know, barbecue flavored, anything, pork rinds, whatever. Um, but she liked the barbecue quest chips. The next thing we have is asparagus. We got this at Sprouts too. It was a dollar a bunch. It was on a crazy sale. So I made sure to pick some up. Yeah, and this is just going to kind of supplement our broccoli. I usually alternate between broccoli, spinach, cauliflower, asparagus. I'm pretty simple with my vegetables. I used to really love salads, but since romaine is killing people now, I'm kind of avoiding that for the next couple months. So a little bit sucky there, but we're going to make do. And then these were on sale as well. I think these came from uh, Sprouts. Yeah, and they were like, I don't know, $4 uh, a bag. Normally they're like seven. And I might use these to make my keto chocolate chip cookies, which I'm going to go ahead and put in the card right there. If you guys haven't checked those out yet, definitely do it because they're delicious. They're amazing. And then you see right here, two cases of LaCroix, LaCroix, whatever people <laughs> pronounce it. I'm not French. I don't really care how you say it. It's flavored sparkling water. There's no calories in them. Uh, I get these at Sam's Club for seven dollars a case, and, and they it's, were on sale. And it's a twenty-four five. pack. Okay, so I guess they were on sale for five this time, but they're normally like seven a case for twenty-four of them. I really love soda. I was like one of my huge downfalls before I started keto all those years ago. To this day, you know, if there's diet soda in the house, I'll probably have a glass a day, which I really should be trying to back off of. And this definitely helps me because it gives me that carbonation. That's something that I really enjoy about soda is the fizz. Um, so zip fizz in the morning, and then I'll drink these maybe one or two at night. And that kind of gets me through. Now to get a little bit back to the uh, cost saving thing that I was talking about, as you can see, we bought, you know, four beef chuck steaks. We bought four uh, pork shoulders. And I think this is almost 40 pounds of pork shoulder here, which is gonna be fantastic for, for pulled pork. I'll take you out to the deep freeze in a minute. But the other thing I wanna mention to you guys is most grocery stores actually have a discount bin or a manager special bin. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, if not, go ahead and check it out right here. Hashtag always plug. And um, I made this awesome uh, bacon wrapped sirloin last week. I mean, it, it slow cooked it and then uh, basically it was a reverse sear. Absolutely fantastic. People love the picture. It looked great. But that was actually came from that manager special bin. I don't have the money to go out and spend, you know, $15 on two of those bacon wrapped sirloins. But when I found it in that bin, I think it was like six or seven for the, the, the two pack of the sirloin wrapped in bacon. 
And to me, that's a great deal. Now those things you have to be a little bit careful of because there are things that are starting to go bad. So if it looks really foul, don't pick it up. But if it looks like it's still perfectly usable, go ahead and take it. You stick them in the freezer, they'll still last. And then just as soon as you thaw it, use it. I wouldn't leave them sitting in the fridge too long. But that's another thing I do to save money a lot. I wish I could have found something today and I actually looked in that bin for some stuff because I check every time I'm there. Um, but there was nothing today worth having. It was all really lean like ground beef or really lean ground pork and then some sausages that I didn't trust. And then also I avoid things that are like pre-seasoned, pre-flavored. So I didn't have anything today to show you from there, but that is one thing to check. Ask the employees if you can't find it, but there's usually a manager special bin. Check that out. So now we're gonna get all this put away. I'm probably gonna throw one of these in the smoker today. So if you guys wanna show, uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare my pulled pork and smoke it. And then I'll actually walk you out to the deep freeze and show you kind of where we store all this stuff because um, there's a ton more out there. So I'll check back with you guys in just a minute once all this is put away. All right, so obviously I keep my deep freeze in the garage, so we're gonna head on out to that. I'm gonna show you what's in there before we go ahead and put the new stuff in, because um, we are kind of running out. By the way, if you guys didn't notice, I love my motorcycles. I got, that is a uh, 2018 Kawasaki Z125 that is eventually gonna become a stunt bike. And then that's my 2016 Harley Street Glide Special. Definitely love that motorcycle. Anyway, I keep the deep freeze over here. It's kind of a pain because my house is small, so I gotta walk around the truck to actually get to it. But currently, so up top here, I have all my steaks. These are ribeyes, T-bones, whatever. Um, we buy those when they're on sale as well. The butter we get down there, I don't know if you can see, they come in those four packs, should probably like this. Um, those come from Sam's Club. And then, uh, you know, we got a turkey in here. This came from holiday sales but as you can see there's a few racks of rib there's one more pork shoulder right there and then there's a few things of uh, brisket down there so it's definitely running out of my supply which is why we're restocking so now we're going to go ahead and put the new stuff in here and then uh, i'm going to leave one out because i'm going to throw that on the smoker right now and i suppose for the sake of completeness i'm going to go ahead and just show you the inside freezer as well it's a little bit messy but up here we've got most of our ice cream and then those are some frozen uh hatch chilies the butter we're currently using, some more ice cream. Uh, Olivia loves her ice cream, guys, so if you guys didn't notice that. The bacon's in here, um, and then, you know, coming down, we got some real good foods, enchiladas. Haven't tried those yet, but I'd like to. And then there's some sausages, our ground beef, and then the uh, vegetables are down there. So, you know, we kind of keep things on hand at all times. We buy them when we're on sale. That's the only way to really do this in a cost-effective way that I have found. Everybody. So you saw the process of making that pulled pork. It took about eight hours now because I went through and covered it in mustard and dry rub, wrapped it up, stuck it in the fridge for a bit. And then I uh, smoked it out till about 160 degrees, wrapped it in foil, cooked it to about 205, and then pulled it. So here we are, we've got the pulled pork on top of some cloud bread that I made. And these interesting little things right here are um, actually a keto hush puppy, or are going to be. It's something that I just started experimenting with today. Originally, my goal was to uh, create a keto Cheeto, for example. I, I was kind of craving something crunchy. And uh, I couldn't get them to be crispy all the way through, but the texture really reminded me of a hush puppy. So I went ahead and adapted it, added some different seasonings to the recipe, and created these. And uh, they seem to be a pretty good representation of a hush puppy. So I really look forward to um, making these in the future now. It will come out as a recipe in a few weeks, probably. I didn't have any shrimp, so this is basically just the spices and the dough, so it's not 100% a hush puppy. 
but I like where I'm going with this. As far as everything else here, I'm gonna go and eat all this, and then uh, we're gonna come back in a minute, and I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, I've been on YouTube now for a year, so Olivia and I are gonna come back, sit down behind the camera, and just kinda talk about the experiences we've had on YouTube the past couple years. So if that sounds interesting to you, hang around, and I'll be back in just a minute. What is everybody, we are back now, and I uh, just wanted to talk to you a minute, so I don't know if you realize this, but the last week of um, November there was pretty much the first week I was on YouTube last year, so it's been a year that I've been on this platform, and honestly, I told myself that I'd give it a year, I'd try it out, and if I still liked it, then, you know, I'd keep going. And very fortunately for me, that is where I'm at. I love the whole YouTube thing, I love making videos for you guys. There are the occasional assholes, but you know what, I have complete control over that. I can just ban them, the people who start becoming negative or trying to insult me. Ban hammer. I find it hilarious that they wasted their time and now they don't get the resource. So that's even better. But other than that, I'd say 90% of the people that come on this channel are just absolutely awesome and very supportive and love what I do. And you know, those people make it completely worth it to me. I love hearing the stories about how people have lost a ton of weight. They love my recipes. It's helping them out, whatever the case may be. Now you will notice that I've kind of drifted a little bit over the year. Um, when I first started out, I did a lot more vlogs. I, uh, you know, try to give a little bit more advice on like how to do keto. And lately it's been mostly recipes and the occasional vlog. Um, the reason for that change was I kind of got tired of people, you know, arguing and wanting to pick fights. And those are the kind of resources that when people, you know, see them, they immediately want to start a fight with you because they think that they're more right than you are. And honestly, I just don't care and don't have time for it. It's like whatever works for you, that works for you stick with it. So now I've kind of taken this channel more towards the recipe creation route. And that's the side of things that I love. Side note, those Cheetos I was trying to make last night, uh, I'm getting closer. Not perfect, but they're closer. So I'm hoping I can make that happen. Anyway, that's kind of where my real passions become. Um, and obviously, you know, it's been a lot of work for me. I work a full-time job. Olivia works a full-time job. Then, you know, we've got to hit the gym and uh, do this on top of it. So I wish we could do more and make more videos. But I think this year I've done almost 115, close to 120. So for me, that was a fantastic year. Um, and there's about 9,000 of you guys watching these now, so that's that's even better. I'm just so thankful for all of you out there. You know, this community of support has been really amazing, and I'm looking forward to seeing it grow through the next year. It's also so much fun creating all these recipes for you guys and seeing you make them and having you tag us in them. It's so exciting to see that the recipes that work for us work for you guys as well. And side note, her Instagram is always linked in the description as well as mine, so if you want to see anything she's doing or, you know, reach out to her, her Instagram's down there as well. She uh, doesn't really monitor the YouTube like I do. That's kind of more of my baby, but she definitely helps out with the filming. But um, the Instagram down there is all hers. But with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close up the video. Um, side note, things coming this week. I'm thinking Wednesday I'm going to release a keto hot chocolate video. So if you guys are interested in that, hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't yet, ring that bell so you'll be notified when that comes out. Friday I've got something kind of special planned. And then I think coming up next week I'm going to try for some keto enchiladas that don't rely on zucchini. Um, things like that coming to you real soon. And with that, I'm going to close the video. If you liked the video, leave it a like. If you have any questions or comments or you have something you want me to try to make for you, go and leave it in the comment section. With that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.